Welcome to Daddy's Gardening Show. Welcome to the little gardening show here. Here, wait, wait, wait. Got some nice cherries that were looking good. Show me that one, bud. Is this one ready? Ah, oh, it's close. No, somebody needs to pull that. I will. Yeah. There you go. First one of the season. All right, so uh, we got the sprinkler rigged up. Quick, We're going to try to run in there. Run in there real quick. Water the corn and stuff. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Got some weeding to do. Grab it. Uh, I want to give you the update on the tomatoes here. I mean, things are going pretty well. Lots of fruit that's set. Well, we do have one, uh, one casualty here. I'm not sure what, what's gotten it, but... Uh, Leaves are all curled up. Clean, I'll admit it. I mean, the stem still looks good, but obviously this is afflicted with something, which is disappointing. Giving uh, all the fruit that's on there, you see all that. So I'm not sure what to do on that. I don't know if there's a worm. That's down in there that's uh, Did you, get over? you know burrowed its way down oh, chewing on some you know the root going after the roots or whatever but and looky there another cucumber beetle oops see that They're just everywhere. They prefer the squash and the cucumbers and uh, they'll get in the corn and beans. But I don't think they like tomatoes, which is a good thing. So anyway, I don't know what's wrong with this plant, but this looks a lot like uh, one that uh, Tom, our frugal prepper, had one die on him like this. So, uh, Tom, I feel your pain, man. Got a lot of uh, tomatoes that are sitting on these here. I watched a video the other night uh, by the... I guess Curtis Stone. He's a market gardener in uh, British Columbia, anyway, on how he does his tomatoes and uh, I guess a technique called hard pruning. Seemed kind of interesting, but basically the idea is that uh, as the fruit sets, you just trim off the foliage that's below it and kind of expose it to the sun. And in doing that, it ripens, accelerates how quickly the fruit will ripen but it also uh, stimulates the plant to uh, to put out new growth and uh, supposedly he was able to increase his production by like 75 percent when he did that on his indeterminate tomatoes so I don't know we may try that um, a lot of our clusters are exposed Could be the varieties too that you choose. I mean, I'm doing all kinds of different heirloom types. Uh, whereas next year, what I may do is do like, um, you know, hybrids or something on one side and then uh, do all my other stuff on the other side. Or I may do uh, mostly paste and canning tomatoes on one side and the different various heirlooms on the other side. But overall, things are going decent. Kind of having fun out here in the garden. Going to try to get some weeding done. Always still got some good weather. So anyway, I guess that's it for now. We're going to just kind of hang out and um, get some work done. So until next time, happy gardening. Bye.